this is a very short and uh, simple video to describe the installation of a stream player on OS X 10.9 Mavericks. Uh, right there. You need to download two files before beginning. The URLs or links uh, to them are listed in the description below this video, so why not stop the video and download them to your desktop before you uh, begin. Okay, once you have them, click on Wine Bottler Combo, Disk Image, drag the two constituent uh, programs over into Applications. Oops. There we go. One. Now I've already done this, so I'm not going to drag them, but you drag them into Applications, okay? And then you're free to close Wine Bottler, the uh, disk image. Uh, go to Applications, launch Wine Bottler. And click Advanced. Uh, the program that we're going to install is uh, precisely this program, Astream Media, which you've downloaded. And it is an installer, so you execute it. There are no uh, auxiliary arguments, but there are three wine tricks that need to be installed with it. The VC run 2008, check mark it. Uh, the, um, you need to set the direct, uh, uh, DirectX draw renderer to GDI. And lastly, we need to uh, enable multi-sampling in direct uh, X. So, no overrides, nothing else, install. Give it a name, let's call it a stream, and save it to the desktop. Now basically, you've, you're done. Um, all we have to do at this point is um, let it uh, assemble the app and click a few boxes in each of the two um, programs that are being installed. The first being the C++ uh, runtime, which does not take a minute or two, it takes about 10 seconds. And now you can see that the wine tricks are being installed here. And finally, we install a stream. Uh, you can disable some of this stuff that you don't need. There aren't going to be any useful desktop shortcuts. The app itself will be the shortcut. Um, browser extensions don't really work. Um, so, but everything else that's checked by default can be left as is. Install it to the Wine C drive. We don't need to visit the web any websites or test anything. At this point, we're going to test it directly. Now, at this point, we encounter two errors. They are benign, okay right through them. They don't seem to have any uh, particular importance. However, this now selects the file that starts the app, and the default is Ace Update. I prefer to start Ace Player. Um, so, and that's that's the choice I make. I'm not entirely sure that it may matters, but that's what I do. Okay, the prefix is started. We can now close Wine Bottler. The app is created. Uh, I have to find it over here. Where is it? Hmm. There it is. All right. Uh, we start it, and on the first run only, prefix is prefixed to the application, and a bit of wine mumbo jumbo is um, executed, and then shortly. The application opens. Here's wine configuration. We update it. The 
This is again first time only. And there's the app. It works. You obtain a content ID from WYSIWYG or wherever and paste it in here. Click play and you are uh, installed. Hope that helps. Bye-bye.